Hello and welcome back to Disney Infinity The Interior, which is... Was this episode 2? I believe this is episode 2, indeed. So today we have Dory helping us out right here because I really like uh, this. This is probably one of my favorite Disney Infinity figures because I mean, just look at these cool abilities. You can glide around and create bubbles everywhere and then the attack is even, even cooler because if you hold down the button then like three different bubbles will pop out so if you shoot like that oh how cool is that but you want to know another thing that is awesome time lapses because I figured out how to do time lapses now and I think we're we gotta find something to time lapse in this in this episode but today the goal is to make Darth Maul uh, well we can only make we can only make two characters rooms so we're gonna make Darth Maul and Darth Vader's rooms because I mean those are two really cool villains and the and Star Wars villains indeed and then uh, if we have any more time we're gonna finish up this room but this is actually looking pretty nice I remember not being too happy with it but I'm actually pretty pretty uh, happy with this room it looks pretty good alright so we gotta find which room we're gonna look we're gonna use today so what what shall we do it's got to be small. It's not the, I mean, they're not gonna have like a huge room every time. Just probably a, yeah, probably a one door room. Cause I don't want to have too much space. I have to fill up. Cause then you wouldn't want that, would you? Cause then you'd have be like constrained to having to fill up a huge space when there might not be that many things to fill it up with. So actually, this is a, this is pretty small. I don't know. I think is there any one bigger than that two door room? Too big. Yeah, all of these are too big. So I guess we gotta go with the one door. Yeah, the one door room. Okay, so first off, we've gotta theme this thing. So this will be Darth Va Darth uh, Vader's room. So what shall we have here? I don't wanna have the exact same design, but I feel like it would be pr pretty plain. Just a nice, probably black, I feel like. So Death Star walls are really my only choice here. But in the actual like trim and everything like that, we can switch it up. So what? Oh yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And then it can't be anything too bright or colorful. But I think that looks pretty good. Um, no, actually, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I feel like that looks pretty cool. Not very dark Vadery though. Not very black or anything. Actually, where was that? The Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I think we're gonna use that. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, now we have to change the light fixture, so that'll be really simple. Probably just no, um, probably this one. That might, yeah, I think that works works pretty well. Because this will be a very simple room, you know? It wouldn't be anything too, too fancy. But also, it would be nice. So, let's see here. We gotta find a bed. What, what bed do you think Darth Vader would, would use here? Um, maybe he just... Just sit on a throne, just or sit on a seat. You know that actually that might be pretty accurate. The throne of Thanos. That looks actually pretty awesome right there. Um, how about? Hmm. What about that? Java pal. Oh, that's a bench, not a not a uh, bed. I'm looking for beds. I wish there was a way to organize it because they do have categories, right? But those categories are usually pretty slim. Like they they're not very you know specific so let's let's do a time lapse right now until I find the right bed Okay, I know it's not great, but what about this bed? I think this actually looks, I don't know, it looks weird, but I think it's our best choice right now. Maybe, maybe this one? Just the normal bed? No, that's too happy. I think that this might be our best choice. I don't know, it might not be great, but okay, so we gotta get that. And then, now, I think we're gonna put a throne, obviously. Like, um, the Darth Sidious seat seems pretty good. Put that... Uh, put that right, hmm, is there nowhere? Okay, so we can just put it at the ends of the room. So we'll put those two seats right there. And then, now we gotta work on, 
Hmm, now we gotta work on paintings. The wall hangings. So what would Darth Vader have? Uh, yeah, he would definitely have a picture of Luke Skywalker. For sure. Actually, you know what would be kind of funny? Yeah, let's put an Anakin on the wall. That might be kind of funny. Alright, so let's do that. And then, what else? Accents and decor. Okay, hmm. I don't think there's anything in that that I would use. Electronics and appliances. Now, here we go. We've got to put some lights on the wall here. So, probably just one right uh, here. Because, obviously, Darth Vader's scared of the dark. I mean, how could he not be scared of the dark? Okay. So, let's do it like that. And then, what shall we have? We've got to find a rug. So, let's get a rug out here. Um, <laughs> Darth Maul. Yeah, we just put a big face of Darth Maul on there. Hmm, what if we did that? Like, leading up to the bed, kind of? Um, it doesn't really work, though. We would have to put the bed on the corner. But yeah, that doesn't really work. I don't know how you would use that, is the thing. What about... Oh, wow, that is not right. That is definitely, definitely not right at all. Okay, if for a second I saw it and I was like, that might work. Okay, let's just put Rug of the Future. Yeah, let's just put that right at the foot of the bed. I mean, Darth Vader ha hates cold feet. Okay, so that is definitely not even. Oh no, are we going to have a rug catastrophe again? Oh, we might. Okay, so there we go. That, that's, um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to roll with it. Well, yeah, I, I just... I just can't do the rugs. They just don't make any sense ever. Anyways, okay, now what we got what we got to do here is hmm, let's find yeah, let's put this. Where are we going to put this even? Maybe can we put it right underneath the light? Does that work? Yeah, that works pretty good. So we'll put it right there. Nice space space view. Makes it feel spatial. You get it? Ha ha ha. Okay. So now what what is really left here? A Palpatine window, I might be able to do that. Ooh, do, would that work? I think I'm going to put Palpatine's window oh, right there. I think that would look pretty good. Okay, so let's take that. Alright, so... Ooh, wow, that looks really cool, actually. I didn't even know that thing existed. Okay, what else? Um, what else? Indeed. I think that might actually be it. I mean, we've got all the necessary stuff. And like I said, Darth Vader would have quite a fa ha quite a minimalistic room, you know? So I think that actually looks pretty well. Can you tell it's Darth Vader, though, is the thing? Because I can't, I can't really tell that it would be Darth Vader's room, you know? Okay, so let's put the rug just right there. Um, I don't know. I, I might work on that when the later, but I, right now, I'm pretty happy with it. So now we've got to get a hallway. Um, I wish that this room could hold one more. In fact, I thought it did, but apparently not. So let's find something. A three-door hall? No. Hallway turn? The thing is, yeah, it has to be a three-door hall. Okay, so let's just put this right here. Connect that up, and then we can edit this so it looks just like, um, just like this room. So I believe that room is just all Death Star. It's everything Death Star. So Death Star and then just skip forward. So we've gotten this hallway going on. Oh, wow, that's a problem. Um, why is it doing that? Okay, so we just need to flip this thing real quick. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've gotten this whole th this room set up right now. So now we can place in Darth Maul's room and get that going on. I think we will actually have time to edit with the to play more with the actual seating area in there. So let's get this going. All right. So I feel like Darth Vader, Darth Maul, would have maybe a more a more flashy room. I feel like, cause that, cause that would be fun, you know, split, mix it up a bit. So what shall we do here? We, it has to be, it has to still feel like space, because this whole area is gonna feel like space. But ooh, yeah, maybe that. Okay, and now what? We don't want to use the same wall. So, oh, that actually, those two uh, look awesome. Mm, but it, is it really spacey? Cause I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Um, the helicarrier walls. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, and then he would probably have the light right. Yeah, this is coming together pretty nicely. Okay, so the floor, it would probably be the game grid floor. Yeah. Now, I know that Darth Maul would not have this room. But th I feel like this is just like, I feel like it would be funny if he did. You know, it's all up to <laughs> interpretation. No, this is obviously, he would probably not. Ooh, that... That's pretty awesome, actually. That's... Wow, I like that one. I think we're gonna use that, actually, this time. Um, and then... Maybe the same on this wall right here. The same thing as we did in Darth Vader's room, just because I feel like that looks really cool. Oh, I wish we could... Oh, that would... How cool would it be to have this thing kind of popping out? That would look awesome. Okay, so now we've gotta get a uh, wall hanging. Now, obviously, we have to get... Darth, we would use Darth Maul. I don't have Darth Maul, though. So, what are we gonna use here? Um, it's hard to decide. It's hard to decide. What if, what if Darth Maul, ooh, yeah, that works. I think that works pretty well. Okay, so let's put that there, and then what, sh what else shall we do here? We gotta get furniture going on, but I can't find it right now. Actually, where is the furniture? Okay, so I finally found it. That was weird. It was weird that I just couldn't find it. But let's get going here. Okay, so what shall he what use as his bed? I don't know. It has to be it has to fit in with the theme, but it also has to be spacey. Oh yeah. Oh, if it was actual like an actual bed kind of thing. You know what? I feel like it fits. It for sure fits. Yeah, definitely. I yep. I I like it. So the only problem is it, it won't actually fit in the room. So what else shall we do here? Um, I'm really not left with many options. So what if we just do that? Yeah, I mean it's flashy, it definitely fits in. This is going to be the weirdest room ever. Okay, so now we, we need to find his rugs, right? What rug shall he have? The Iron Man rug, that looks pretty cool. That actually looks really cool. Um, you know, what if we didn't know? I'm not gonna do that. That I'll need to use that later on, so I'm not gonna use that now. Just, just have Darth Maul's 
Yep, that'll work. That'll work. I like that. And then I, another thing I noticed, I think we need to move this up a little bit. So let's, oh, well, we can only move it. Yeah, let's just move it up. You know, it doesn't really fit in just kind of laying on the floor there. So there we go. That would be Darth Maul's room done. Now we can work on this area out here. So out here, we are going to use, um, what is left to do? We gotta have like a control center type deal. So what, where would that be categorized under? I'm thinking it would be not in decor, electronics, obviously it would be under electronics. Um, so what, we gotta have some gaming machines in here. Just have a Tron machine over here. Yeah, just this will be the arcade corner, cause you know, villains, they get bored. But it all, it's all just gonna be Tron. Just Tron, Tron, Tron. Okay, let's, let's get all of these Trons placed in here. Okay, so we now have the Wall of Tron. Because, you know, people, they get bored. Even even Darth Vader gets bored sometimes, you know? So now we've got to get the control, the whole, like, control center deal going on. And I wish there was a curved... I feel like there is indeed a curved screen thing. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Only thing is, it has Oscorp on it. But, you know, minor details. Oh, there we go. Laboratory, right. We'll have that mm, right there. Okay, and then we'll can consider continue it on on this side. So, okay, I think that's about good. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we have to have Death Star. Mm, where are we gonna put these? I don't think I'm actually gonna use those, but I might use this. So where are we gonna? Where would we put this? Um, I know that I saw something really cool somewhere else, but ooh. Ooh, yeah, we gotta use that right there. I think that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so I saw this thing. It was over. It was over behind. Yeah, beside the arcade machines, and it was like a, a world projector kind of thing. It looked really, really cool, and I can't find it right now. Yeah, here it is. The Death Star Hollow Net projection. So I think I'm gonna put that right, right here, and then we've gotta get. Mm. What if we took these, uh, where were they? I think they were actually this way. What if we took these panels right here, and we kind of did, like, we kind of put them around this thing, so it would be like they were controlling it, you know, kind of like this, and then all of these should be aligned right now. It's weird, the angles in the interior just are really dumb, but I will make sure everything is aligned before the next episode. So we gotta get all of this stuff in. That looks pretty cool right here. So we can, you know, we can do all the stuff, change the planets, and everything like that. This room is really starting to come together, I think. So now we have to put in some chairs. Uh, if we can find them, where would the chair? Seating, right. So we've gotta put in some chairs, just some rolling chairs. You know, nothing too fancy to control the computers that are over there at the uh, control panel. Not this one. So where are they? I feel like I've already passed them. Um, no, that wouldn't really work. What if we just had a bunch of little fighter chairs sitting right there? Oh, I don't think I actually have them. I thought I had little rolling chairs, but apparently I do not. So, oh, here they go. The command chair. So we will just put that right there. And right, mm, right there. Uh, I wonder if there's any crooked chairs. No, so that one right there. And then just one person controls those two computers, I'm thinking. So now we need, we need just something else. We need something else like right in this, in this corner. But maybe, maybe just a rug would work. So if we took like, um, that same rug that we were using earlier that we put in Darth Vader's room, this one, what if we took this and put that right there. Yeah, so that way it's kind of just something else, you know? 
And then I don't think I can put a rug in the hallway, which is kind of weird. I don't think you can actually ask, access that menu from in the hallway. But what else? We just need something else. You know, it needs something. But I have no idea what it is. Maybe it would work better uh, when actual, like, people are hanging out in the side... In, in this area, maybe that would work better. I have no idea when I, how I'm supposed to use this thing, though. Maybe in this corner, would that work? Um, I don't really, I don't know. Does that look good? No, it's it's hanging off the wall. What? That's just, that's just kind of sinks. Okay, I'm looking for somewhere else to put these, because these work really well, I think. So we'll put them right there and right there. Just to give this room a feel like it's really lit up and nice, you know? Okay, so that kind of stinks. That, uh, okay, we can't, maybe we just put it right there. I know it's not perfectly even, but I don't think it really matters. You can't really tell. And then, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, I wonder if it, it will probably feel better and more, you know, alive and cool when there are actual people in this place. I wish I could put, like, characters that would just stay, you know, there. Maybe if I did cast members, maybe I can tell them to stay in this area. So let's see what cast members I have here. I believe this is it. I believe this is all my Star Wars cast members, which kind of stinks. I, I really thought I had more, but they're only heroes, and they, they would not really work. I really thought I had more, ca more cast members. Apparently not. Um, what else shall we do? I don't have any villains, so I think this is this room complete. I know this, this has already been a super short episode though, so we need, we need to do something else, and this room is looking pretty bland over here, so let's just, let's just add some paintings real quick, because this episode has been quite short actually. Okay, so let's add, yeah, this is, that looks pretty good. Fred's Heroes painting. Okay, right Mm, right above the fireplace, maybe. Yeah, that works. That looks pretty good. Right above the fireplace. Um, I really like that fireplace design. It's pretty cool. And then, because, I mean, I feel like this would be mostly heroes anyways. We've got to add windows, though. Because windows really, re they really look good. Um, so maybe the dwarf cottage windows just scattered throughout. So right here we'll have one. You know, nothing, nothing too, too big or anything like that. So let's put one right there, and right there. Hmm, that that one doesn't look too good. We just gotta scatter these things throughout, you know. Okay, for some reason I can't. There we go. All right, I was, I was like, I can't take it off the wall. It's decided that it's gonna stay on the wall. So maybe, uh, yeah, this is. I really like these windows. I think this room it will be pretty nice in the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these windows in here or not, but I really want to use them, and I don't know when else I would use them. But it's going to be super, super difficult when I actually start building, you know, different rooms that don't have specific themes. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do all of the characters like Snow White and all of them. That might be kind of difficult to do. But yeah, so all of these these windows look pretty good. But I think we're going to end off the episode right there because I don't want to be too everywhere in this episode. And I know it was kind of a little bit of a shorter one, but that's just how it is sometimes. So like if you liked it, subscribe for more content that you'll hopefully like. In the top left corner is the Tomb Raider series. I have a gut feeling that we're nearing the end. In the top left corner, wait, what? Okay, but I think that looks pretty nice, actually. But that is, I think we're going to end it off there. I know this was a bit of a shorter episode. Sorry about that, but that's just how it is sometimes. Like if you liked it. Subscribe for more content that you'll hopefully like. In the top left corner is the rest of the Tomb Raider series. That we, I have a gut feeling we're nearing the end. In the top right corner is a video you might like. And in the middle is my logo. You can press that to subscribe. But I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.